Greetings. So in this game, I'm at chess.com battling the chess bot, the billionaire bot, Gil Bates. And there's an um, interesting thing I want to show you that might help you if you're struggling with this bot. And uh, so let's get to it. I will tell you, this bot is rated 1500, but honestly, he feels more like a 15 uh, or like an 1800, not a 1500. But so this, when I see this opportunity, I just like messing up my opponent's pawn structure. Um, maybe it seems a little childish for that to be a master plan for an opening, but it works well for me. I, I feel like even if the material is even, but my opponent has a messed up pawn structure, I feel like I have the advantage. And so if I have a chance to mess up pawn structure, I definitely uh, go for it here. Um, okay. So let's see. Now there's a danger if you take this because the queen can step out here and uh, you're in trouble. So it's not necessarily a free pawn. Okay, now I was expecting an exchange here. Um, but to my surprise, it went this way. And so um, now this I, I like. This is just good clean chess. Putting a major piece right in line with your opponent's uh, king and the queen has stepped out in front of the king which is uh which is okay this is not bad but it's a little dangerous uh all things being equal so let's get to it because i want to show you one of the things um okay now i was expecting a retake here and then here and then again messed up pawn structure gonna have double stacked isolated and double stacked was my thinking okay so Instead, we did the exchange this way, um, and now I'm eyeing this rook, and um, so I go ahead and exchange this piece out um, because this makes me a piece up. So now at this point, this is one of the big takeaways from this, and this is how I play all my chess games. I'm up a piece. I got two minor, two major. My opponent has two major, one minor. And uh, this pawn structure is no good here. So at this point, I just want to trade down and make it for an easier end game. And uh, my opponent doesn't take the exchange. I'll force it. And now we've got an open file. And uh, I own it. And that's what I like. So that's good. Now this is getting close to the part where there's a trick coming up that I'm a trap that I'm laying with this pawn. And see if you can see what it is. Um, if you can comfortably beat a 1500, then uh, you probably already see it. And I should be watching your video, not you watching mine. <laughs> so, yeah, here it comes. So, uh, this is, it looks like a free pawn for my opponent. It looks like a free pawn. Uh, but there it is. There's the uh, the trouble. Okay, and so now... Now let's look at the board. Um, so my opponent has one minor. I have one minor, but I also have one major. So, okay. So let's keep going. And, yep. Now that is a free pawn there. So, okay. Now towards the end, the end game, people have a tendency to hide their king and leave it down in this situation or something. But actually you want to get your king... Towards the, I'm trying to make this a quick video, so some of this back and forth, I'm just going to talk through it. But you, during the end game, you want to get your king out towards the center. Okay, don't leave him tucked away. You, you're probably going to need him out there working. So he's got to pull his weight. Okay, so now the king, my opponent's king, is cut off. This side concerns me because something could happen. Okay. I feel like this side can take care of itself. I would like to get these pawns on green square. There's a um, a light squared bishop left. So I'd like to hang out on the dark squares. But uh, let's see what we can do here. Okay. So now I'm cleaning up this side, which was my biggest threat. Okay. And now I see a piece lined up with the king. So you know what's coming. Yes. I have an absolute pin on this piece, and there's nothing it can do uh, to stop. So now I'm just cleaning house. Okay, I do have to watch this side, but like I said, this side can pretty much take care of itself. 
So let's just try to get a queen. I think a human would probably resign at this point. All right, so there's the queen. All right, and there it is. So the biggest takeaway from this video is to get your pieces out there, get them to work together, and watch out for free pawns. Um, it was a trap that um, I've fallen for many times, and finally, after so many times, you think, oh, yeah, well, maybe I can do the same to my opponent. Love battling these bots. Uh, zero pressure. A lot of fun. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a great day.